What does it mean to be an artist of conscience? For an artist, what does it mean to declare that a citizen should have a responsibility to act? Ai Weiwei is an artist, an architect, a craftsperson, a global citizen, and an activist. His life is defined by intersections. Born in 1957, he is the son of the revered poet Ai Ching. Exiled with his family to the remote northwest of China during a political campaign against intellectuals, Ai Ching was forced to do the dirtiest of menial labor. Ai Weiwei grows up in the company of his father's friends, who were also banned and humiliated artists. These years would have a lasting effect. As a young adult, he spends more than a decade in the United States and is inspired by the New York art scene. He takes portraits documenting himself in a place that is, for a young Chinese abroad, both liberating and isolating. Returning to China in 1993 when his father falls ill, Ai now has firm ideas about his birthplace and the forces that work there. He arrives back to a China that is going through a tumultuous transformation without precedent in human history. It has recently suppressed a titanic democracy movement initiated in Beijing. This is where he makes his home. The decade of the 90s brings the beginning of Ai Weiwei's subversive expressions as an artist. With his The Black Book Anthology in 1994, he insists that contemporary Chinese art must be seen and experienced. He is fearless in publishing it. The result of this work makes him an icon. He is determined to bring together the past and the present in a way that is political, complex, and accessible. His daring and ironic works give the viewer a chance to challenge current events and political formulas. Ai's courageous commitment to freedom of expression and to the rights of the individual are paramount. At the turn of the millennium, the internet starts to transform relationships. For Ai Weiwei, new digital media offers a space beyond the control of the state. From his legendary citizen blog to his tweets and Instagram, he embraces and masters the power of digital communication as artist and activist. His outspoken and outraged response to the 2009 Sichuan earthquake initiates a still deeper engagement and humanism. In the face of government resistance, Ai Weiwei and his team painstakingly collect the 5,385 names of all the children who perished in the shabbily built structures. They also collect and straighten steel rebars from the destroyed cement buildings themselves. Blunt material, evidence of responsibility. The art he makes out of tragedy is of unblinking witness and of terrible beauty. He will not allow individual lives to vanish. On April 3rd, 2011, Ai Weiwei disappears. He is detained by officials and held for 81 days, with two guards standing by him at all times, including while he sleeps. Finally released, he is not permitted to leave China for four years. By now, he is an artist of international repute. The range of his creative practices is remarkable. In London, he arranged 100 million porcelain sunflower seeds on the floor of the Tate Modern, each one individually painted. In Toronto, Ai Weiwei's statues of his Chinese zodiac animals are displayed as part of his astounding show, according to Watt, at the Art Gallery of Ontario. In 2015, he is granted a passport at last, and he sets up a studio in Berlin. Almost immediately, he goes to the Greek island of Lesbos, where he witnesses human beings fleeing desperate situations at home in order to simply survive. It triggers in him a demanding new project. In a year and a half, he travels to 23 countries, documenting the ongoing mass migration of some 65 million people who have to flee their homes. Human Flow, his searing documentary, is the result. 
Ai Weiwei represents so much of what is human. His creativity and output are astonishing. He is an exile who is at home everywhere. A global citizen who insists that we see what is happening. And that by keeping our eyes open, we never forget our shared humanity.